Right, the first step is to go to Google and type in crossover space media monkey. And the top hit should be the codeweavers.com site. Just go to that and uh, you basically come up with a menu, click on crossover 9.01 and media monkey and that's got some basic install options there. So with your crossover, um, just create an XP bottle. So I'll basically just follow this process here. So install SP6, install Visual C++. Um, that's basically all under here, crossover software installer and should be down the bottom under runtime service components just here. What you can do is just type in C++ and it will come up. So yeah, uh, install six Visual Basics first, uh, then C++. And with the Windows script, I couldn't get that to work. Um, I had to install that individually. So JavaScript and then VB script separately. And then once you've installed that, uh, head back to Crossover, click on Installer again, and scroll down, hit Other Application, select, choose Installer File, and then select your Media Monkey exe file, which you've downloaded, use this installer and we'll hit edit here on the right hand side and then the default is new xp bottle we'll leave it as is and we'll rename this media monkey uh, we'll go one word hit install should only take a few seconds click ok next i accept Next, next. I don't really tick these, we don't really need them for what we're going to be using it for. Hit next. I'm going to disassociate all the file types. Uh, hit next. Install. Okay, untick launch. If you, if you leave that tick and click finish, we'll try and launch it and crossover won't finish the install. So untick that, tick finish. And that's been installed into crossover there. Gets generates the folder. Uh, don't launch it yet, just click on, we're gonna install the MAD plugin, but we're not gonna go through the crossover installer process here. We're gonna click on manage bottles down the bottom and then select media monkey. And then in advanced, we're gonna click on Sorry, we're going to click Applications and then Install Software here. Click Install Software. Same again, scroll down the bottom, hit Other, select, choose a file, and that's the MAD plugin that we're going to install, which is the MP3 DLL file or the MAD DLL file. Okay, it's going to install into Media Monkey Bottle, hit Install. And when it pops up here, we're going to change this from C program files Winamp to C program files Media Monkey. So just scroll down to Media Monkey and leave it on leave it leave it on Media Monkey. It will automatically go into the plugins. Click next. Close this notepad that popped up. Okay, done. And that's it, Media Monkey and the MAD plugin have been installed. Now the M4A files and MP4 files won't play because the DLL isn't there. So what you need to do is just head over to Google again and just Google Media Monkey M4A DLL and that will take you to this site here, which is home.scarlet.be. Da 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 da. Open that up and if you just scroll down a bit here, it's got M4A MP4 plugin so it's the one that you need to download to play m4a and mp4s so just right click save that link as it is which is m4 mp4 hyphen ac2 dll just save that wherever you want i'm going to put mine on my desktop and that only should take a few seconds it's uh 200k okay we're going to launch media monkey now that's going to take a few minutes to open because it's just been installed it can take up to 10 minutes so just be patient. You can see it running in the bottom there. Um, give it a few minutes and we'll see how we go. Okay, so now that Media Monkey is launching, <clears throat> just 
just like in Windows. Just a bit glitchy at the start, but that's just normal. Now, let's just try and play an MP3 file and see if it works. Um, what you'll notice first off is if you uh, go to a directory, uh, let's say I've got some MP3s and normally I would have a details view and that would show up like here on the right hand side. So it some reason it doesn't work on the left here, this tree folder. So I'm just going to uh, click file open, click browse and then open MP3 that way. And that should play. Okay, um, and you'll notice here, this is the now playing tab. So you just right click in this toolbar here if you want to click now playing and that will bring up all the details of that file, all the uh, ID3 stuff. So to edit your MP3s, the best way to do it is to, firstly, uh, let's just have a look and see if you don't have any output, if, it's, if you click on play, and nothing's happening. There's two problems that could be occurring. Firstly, the problem is that you don't have your output set correctly. So just click on uh, Tools, Options, and click on Output Plugins. Just here, Media Monkey Direct Sound, Configure, and make sure it's Primary Sound Driver. Okay, it might be on built in. If it's on built-in, it's not working, click it over to primary. If it's on primary, it's not working, click it over to built-in. Just muck around with that. That should get you going. And um, hit play again. It should work. If it doesn't work again, just jump back over to crossover. And uh, hit on manage bottles. And then click on advanced open C drive. And that will open a C drive program files, click on Media Monkey, scroll down to plugins, and you should see the MAD DLL. There he is there. That's the one that's playing the MP3s. Uh, for the M4A and MP4s, um, we're gonna have to drag the DLL into here. So if I try and play an M4A in Media Monkey now, I don't think it'll work. Uh, let's see if I can find one for you. There's an M4A. So that doesn't work. So what we need to do is just add in the DLL. So just head back to crossover, just like I did before, manage bottles, advanced, open in C drive, and then just drag your Copy your uh, downloaded M4A DLL in there. Go back to your C drive. And then right click in plugins and paste item. And then that should be right there. Now, if we head back to Media Monkey, close all this stuff, and hit play on the same M4A file, that should work. Once it's stopped having a little fit, might have to restart. Might have to restart Media Monkey. Let's just give that a go. There we go. So that's working. Okay, what we're going to do now is show you how to do some editing quickly. So just with the details tab here, click view and show details not working. Click on show album art with details. And that gives you pretty much all your editing there. Um, and you can just edit whatever you want by right click on the toggle bar up here. And you know, if you want to have album art, if you want to take it off. And should be everything should be pretty much the same. I mean, you can click on properties, 
should be able to add your tags in and things like that and auto organize to make sure the directory is right so it's not going into the C drive put it into whatever directory you want Z or Y or whatever and then you can do auto organizing that way and uh, that's pretty much it you're good to go uh, that's meeting monkey with crossover alrighty